Swiss CDC, they are making some awesome tools. We're going to show you the new multi brush. It's pretty simple, but it also has some awesome features that you need to check out. Dude, that's a big brush, bro. Okay, so we have the multi clamp from Swiss CDC, really good tool, which now comes with the Swiss CDC. Multi-clamp minus is what they call it, which is a smaller tool, which is just like it. But we wanted to highlight this tool right here. This is the Swiss CDC multi-brush. At first glance, it looks like a cool uh, wire brush with some sort of medieval weapon attached to the back of it. The brush attachment was pretty obvious as to what it was used for, and we played with it quite a bit. It's an awesome tool. We weren't sure what the back end was used for, so we started messing with it. And this this point on the very end is actually used to fold soft hackles, and we'll show you how to do that. And then this uh, weapon-looking part of it is actually really good for cleaning out some under furs and, and things like that. So we'll show you a few little techniques with this one, but one thing about it that I really like is there's a little Allen key right here. But if you loosen this and take this little screw out of it, this whole brush is replaceable. So that's one of the things with the, the wire type brushes. If you ding them up too much, they, they end up being unusable. So this one is replaceable. Um, we haven't seen the replacement kits for that quite yet, but uh, I'm sure that we will have them in at some point. To put it back in, you just stick it back in there and screw it in. Anyway. We're going to show you how to use this fancy Swiss CDC multi-brush tool. So here we have this cool tool. I'm going to show you just on this uh, basic Euro Nymph pattern a few of the things that it does. I'm going to use Squirrel. So I'm just going to start out by doing a normal dubbing noodle of Squirrel and counter ribbing it with wire. So here we have a pretty buggy body already counter ribbed with wire to kind of hold it in place um, sometimes the brushes that you can that you'll use to um, pick out dubbing are too harsh and when the when I first saw this brush I thought man that's that's gonna tear some stuff up it's actually fairly soft so I can just come in here and start working out these fibers you can do it over the top of tinsel as well so you can see it just starts to pick out some of that under fur some guard hairs as well and just overall makes a lot more buggy of a nymph so if you can see how buggy that is those little under furs from squirrel will really pulsate in the water really well so that's that's a killer part of this uh, little brush that I like it's really easy to get that effect of a really full fluffy body we all know the the normal size Swiss CDC tool it's an awesome tool one of my favorite tools on the desk and now they have a miniature one really not a lot of explanation needed on this one it works exactly the same as the other one but one of the cool things that I really like about this one is when you are putting this into a dubbing loop on this one, your dubbing loop had to at least clear the tool. So you had to have kind of a larger loop, even if you're putting a little tiny bit of CDC in it. With this one, my dubbing loop doesn't have to be quite so big. So you're dealing with a little bit tighter spaces, and it's a little easier to control. So I'll just make a, a quick dubbing loop and choose your favorite dubbing twister tool. I'm really liking this CNF Designs. Um, top twister is what it's called. So I'm just going to take that and I'll throw that in there. With that swept up point you can really get your dubbing loop right up next to the, the hook. And I'll twist that up. And another cool thing about this is if you have CDC that's matted down, that loop is actually pretty clean. But this is gentle enough that you can come in here and pick out your dubbing loops without your the steel brush breaking your thread. So I'll just uh, 
wrap that CDC around. This is kind of an unruly looking fly, as a lot of Euro nymphs are, until we come in here and push everything back. Um, I'm going to just trim these like that. Just pinch them back and cut them with your thumbnail. I'll whip finish that. And now I can come in with, with the brush and I can brush it both front and back. It's not going to pull out too much uh, fiber. It's not going to cut your thread as well. I can just go right over where I put that whip finish. I only did one single three turn whip finish and the brush is not gnarly enough to break that but definitely good enough to really get in there and pick out all your fibers so anyway that is the brush portion of of the uh, the multi brush and again um, the brush that you see here is replaceable so that's kind of a cool feature Okay, another really cool feature, and this is the part that I couldn't figure out. The jagged uh, weapon. Maybe for Brig, this is like big enough to be a steak knife or something like that. But this pointy edge right here, I couldn't figure it out. So I went on their website, and I was pretty stoked when I, when I saw what it was for. So I'm just going to show you on a streamer hook with a piece of um, hen saddle. Um, I'm just going to take a piece of hen saddle like this and I'll prep it by taking the fluff off and I'm going to tie it in tip first just like you would with a normal feather. It doesn't have to be tied in tip first. I'm just preferring to use it that way on this demonstration. Alright, so... I learned this when I started watching a bunch of the steelhead guys tie, but they, they always will crease the stem of their their hackle so that as you wrap it, the, the fibers flare back. And it's not always the easiest to do that. So with this tool, I can just put the hackle stem in the tool and run the tool up the feather, and it will put a very slight crease in the, the feather. And I can do that a, a few times and it starts to crease a little bit more and more each time. As you can see now the feather is nice and folded. Now this hackle will want to roll in your fingers so I'll usually stick it in a, a hackle plier to, to apply the hackle. And you can just wrap that forward almost with a rotary style. And it will just lay down like it's like it's supposed to on like a soft tackle or a streamer or, or whatever you want. And sometimes you get twisty hackle. But this tool makes it super easy to create a super clean tie down point for your hackle. Just like that. Tie that off. And a little bit of thread over the, the front of that, that wrap. You can see that every single hackle fiber in here is uh, pointing toward the back. It's not trapped down. And if it were trapped down, you, this uh, brush is also soft enough to brush hackle, like hen hackle. You could brush it forward. You could brush it backward. Anyway, and there is something to be said for the ergonomic shape. It's like a pen. So anyway... That is how to use the notch on the end of it. So now we're to the steak knife portion of this. I don't, I don't know what exactly that's called. But as you can see, if you look really carefully, um, inside these gaps, they go to a point on the inside. And what that does is it helps remove any underfluff from, say, deer hair, or let's say that you had some CDC in a loop or something, you want to brush it out a little bit, that works actually really well for that. So I'll just show you with some deer hair. I'm going to take some deer hair, about the, the amount that I'd use on a, on a size 14 elk hair caddis or something like that. And it's got a bunch of under fluff in it. And if I just take this and run it between the, the, the comb and my finger, 
and pull, it's going to pull out all those broken, broken fibers and a bunch of underfluff. And it's really easy to get that out of the comb. You just tap it, falls out, and you can do another pass. Um, but most of that underfluff is going to come out in the first pull. Um, I was kind of skeptical about this because those teeth are so narrow, but it actually does a really, really good job of cleaning out the, the fluff in deer hair or whatever hair you're tying with. So anyway, there you have it. That is the Swiss CDC multi-brush, um, a tool that's probably going to be on my desk for a while.